Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to Sonic Colors, Kevin J 2010 here. In the last episode, we were uh, working our way through uh, Coaster Place, whatever, I don't like the uh, Asteroid Coaster, that's what it's called, I remembered. And in this episode, we are going to be taking on the boss. Let's go. You know, I don't like what you're doing to my friends in there. It's messed up, so I'm gonna mess you up. Right, I'm stretching. You got a problem with that? I want to be able to fully enjoy taking you apart without some pulled muscle slowing me down. Okay, now I'm ready. Of course, if you want to run away, please feel free. There's no shame in it. Well, maybe a little shame. You guys don't talk much, do you? Fair enough. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, taking on the boss. As you can see, it's another recolor. It's the same boss as the Starlight Carnival. So, yeah, they're just like redoing everything. It's silly, really. Get up to him, just home into him a few times. Get extra points by flipping around. You actually get points for doing this. It's kind of weird. As you can see on the right of the screen there, I'm just getting points. I need a boost. Oh, he went to hyperspace. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't good. Oh, gee. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. Oh, there he is. Don't shoot me. That's not nice. Uh, I forget how this boss really goes. Um, I don't have any rings. And that's usually not a good thing in a Sonic game to have no rings. No rings in a Sonic game, you tell me. That's yeah, usually not a good idea. Oh, that does not look safe. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It looked a lot more dangerous than it actually was. I need a boost. Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna make it. Okay, hit him a few times. That one goes and he's gonna explode. There he is. There we go, we got Rocket. Uh, there's actually a reason why you want Rocket during this fight. It's one of the few times you'd actually want Rocket. No, I didn't even notice that in the bottom there. It actually, uh... It, it looks like it's sleeping because you can't use it right now. I never noticed that. That's cool. Anyway, so you come to this part here. And you can hit him really hard if you use the rocket right into it. Okay, so more asteroids of doom. Uh, okay, let's get some points while we wait. Ow! I didn't mean to go that way. This way. Get some free points. It's really an easy boss. Like, I don't even know why. Oh, I thought he was dead. Oh, Jesus. That was cheap. Okay. I did not see that spike ball coming at me. Is he not dead yet? I mean, seriously. Oh, he's doing this one again. The asteroids of doom from the from the space vortex. Okay, now if you had rocket, you would use it on him right now. That's what it is. Okay. Back to this. Ah, uh, this is way too boring. Asteroids of Doom from the Space Vortex. This one is much easier to dodge because you can sidestep. Are you done yet? Oh my god, you're still not dead. Okay, now are you dead yet? Can you please die soon? There we go. Oh, oh, okay, great. Good job attacking it, Sonic. There you go. 
Are you dead yet? Oh my god, you're not dead yet. Uh, I forgot how like long this boss was. Uh, but, uh, but I don't have any rings. This is not good. Oh, uh, jeez, no rings. No rings facing a boss. Oh, jeez. Okay, and then right here. And lock it right up into him. There we go. That works. And he's dead because he's exploding like this. I want those rings. Give me the ring. Yay. Take that, you stupid coaster asteroid launching thing maboob. Yeah, that's right. I called him a thingamaboob. Well, I still got a B on that. Wow. That's surprising. I thought I was going to get an E on that for sure. Whatever the lowest one is. Yeah, it's E. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. I tried breaking as much of those as I could. Did pretty decent, actually. Let's go. <clears throat> that was almost difficult. Sonic, you did it. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Thanks. Hey, we both deserve some kind of reward. Yeah. Let's go to an amusement park or something. All right. But uh one that's, you know, less evil than this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, are all the aliens getting free? Looks like it. Once the power went off, the locks vanished. I hope Yakker's okay. I think you'll be fine. You don't think the weapon you were shot with still works? Not without power flowing to it. I think we're all good. That's what I like to hear. Generators destroyed, but we can blow this joint and head home. We did it, dude. We? I don't remember you fighting off any insane robots. True. Well, good job to you on inventing a translator that allowed us to speak to the aliens and figure out exactly what we needed to do so we weren't running around the park looking like idiots. <laughs> oh no, wait, that was me. Hmm. Good point. Either way, we can get out of this crazy place and go home. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like the aliens are happy to be going home, too. Uh, I think we're in the middle of a party. The middle? We are the party. I think we're their guests of honor. Totally. Okay. So that was a pretty beautiful cutscene. Some of them looked really cool there. Some of the shots there. So before we go taking on the final part of the game, um, I'm just going to quickly go through all your questions. And uh, don't leave me any questions in today's video because um, don't leave me any questions because I'm not going to answer in the next video because the next video are gonna be th is going to be the finale. I thought this one was going to be, but then I forgot how long it was. Anyway, so first one comes from Mario Pokemon Zelda. Um, what is your favorite thing about this LP? You know, I don't know. It, it's nothing too special in my opinion. It was a lot of fun. It was pretty short. And it was fun to answer your guys' questions. I don't know. I failed a lot in it. And that was funny. Um, who, from uh, Super Poke Dude 123 who is your favorite video game character of all time? Probably Sonic the Hedgehog. But uh, Pokemon are pretty cool. Like, Pikachu's pretty cool. Uh, Muffin Slayer 2 says, Can you say, Get out of the way! In the weird voice. It's awesome. Well, I don't think it's that awesome, but thank you. Dragon Rider 951 since you played the drums, have you written any songs? And as for another 3D Sonic game, how about Sonic Heroes? Um, Sonic Heroes is a good game, but as for writing songs, yeah, I wouldn't say I necessarily wrote them. I more or less just memorized how to play them. And, like, it was, like, an original song. Um, I was in a band. Um, Super Double Legs, or Dub Legs or something. Or Super Double GS, I don't know says, do you ever plan to do an Xbox LP? Um, it'd be a lot of fun. 
Uh, I have a few games in mind that could be on there. They're not set in stone yet, but I have a few games that I would consider LPing for the Xbox. Um, Chaza2311, what games can you play over and over without getting bored? Skies of Arcadia is definitely one of them. Um, dep it really depends how I'm, how, how I'm feeling. Uh, Advanced Wars is fun. It, it really just depends how I'm feeling. I play a lot of Brawl, and that one I can play almost nonstop. Um, and my question is from well, the last one. Yeah, it was from Chaza2311. This one's from JomoFan619. What was your first Nintendo console, and what was your first game on that console? My first Nintendo console was the Nintendo 64. My first game on it was probably Pokemon Stadium, and if it wasn't Pokemon Stadium, it was Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. You would think I would have had Donkey Kong 64, because I remember I got my N64 around the same time when they're doing that combo deal with the N64 and Donkey Kong 64, where you get, like, the green N64. Um, I never got that one, though, because the regular one became cheaper at that point. Um, LP48 says, if you could invent another power-up for Mario Son for Mario slash Sonic Colors, what would it be? Uh, let's say Sonic goes invincible. Not invincible, invisible. That'd be cool, because I haven't really done that. Um, Zonecast Kids asks, what do you th do on your spare time? I play video games. Usually it's me pre preparing for an LP, but other times it's just me playing them for fun. Um, yeah. Lime Chew... Does he ask anything? Okay, never mind. Um, Nintendo Man 114 says, Here is a question. Please answer. What's, what's your favorite Pokemon? And um, what's your favorite region in Pokemon? Uh, Blaziken and the Unova region. I would, well... I like every generation of Pokemon for different reasons, so I can't really pick my favorite region, but I, for now I'm just going to say Unova because I really like it. Or Unova. Anyway. Um, um, from Kupalar. Ever played the Gran Turismo series? What is your favorite game out of it and why? I've actually never played the Gran Turismo games. Uh, I was actually more of a Forza Motorsport kind of person, if you can believe that. Um, that was from Kupalar. Hadamex asks, um, what are your opinions on used games sold in stores like GameStop? And in Canada, we have this place called EB Games. It's basically GameStop. Um, I really like it. You know, going into there and like knowing that there's a used game that I can buy for cheaper is always good. Although they always rip you off in terms of giving them stuff. Like, oh, here's my game. It's like, okay, yeah, I'll give you... Uh, six dollars for it like but i paid sixty dollars when i got it like five days ago like they rip you off and I don't, I don't i don't like trading them in but yeah and that is it how much time did that take up just about the rest of the episode so remember don't leave any questions because next week i will be taking on the last level and i'm not gonna have time to answer it um i was expecting this one to be the final episode but then i had to answer the question so next time no questions i will be doing the finale next week so I'll see you guys all next time.